his, his, his. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do this makeup look. And first what I like to do is I like to prime my skin with a radiant primer since I have dry skin. I kind of like to give my skin a little bit of a glow. Then I'm going to take, um, then I'm going to do a weird face. Then I'm going to take um, EX1 foundation and I'm going to take naked skin foundation and I'm going to mix them and pop that on my skin with a beauty blender. And I like to use a beauty blender because I have dry skin and since the beauty blender is damp, um, it really hydrates my skin and it makes it so that I have no brush lines and it goes on perfectly. Next I'm going to take my concealer and I have three but I only ended up using two. I just like to place the concealer under my eyes, kind of just to highlight. Um, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and then I have the Urban Decay Naked one, which I really like, but I'm almost out, so I had to use both. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And what the concealer is going to do is just going to brighten up your skin. It's going to make your skin have more dimension, that way it doesn't just look like one flat color. Next you want to make sure that you're always setting your concealer. So right here I'm using the Kat Von D um, palette and I'm just going to set under my eyes. That, that way there's no creasing and it lasts all day. Um, I think this step is really important. Next I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm just going to prime my eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And um, I also did it off camera but I also set my um, Set my lids with powder. Next I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade and light palette again and I'm going to take this um, bronzy shade and I'm just going to run that through my crease and I kind of just like to buff it out um, and I think that looks the best. So you just want to keep going back and forth with a fluffy brush. This is also known as a transition color so it's going to make all the other colors that I'm going to use um, easier to blend. Next I'm going to take this Maybelline quad, um, I'll leave the name of it down below, um, and I'm just going to take this bronzy color and I'm just going to pack it on my lid. And you just want to keep it on your lid, um, and this bronzy color is really going to make my brown eyes stand out, and um, yeah, this is the main focus of the look is the bronzy um, color on the lid. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I just use like a small shader brush to do this, that way it stays on my lid and doesn't go past my lid. And then what you want to do is just take that same blending brush and you just want to blend everything out, that way there's no harsh lines. And the next step is optional, but since I have the Naked One palette, I'm going to take this bronzy um, shade called Half Baked. It's like my favorite color. And it's just a lighter bronze and a more intense. So I'm going to put that just kind of in the center of my eyelid, and it's really going to make my eyes um, appear larger and open up. And then, of course, I'm going to go back and blend. Also for the eyes, I'm going to take that bronzy shade again and just run it under my lash line. Um, I never used to do this, but I've seen a lot of people do it and it actually really does make a difference in your um, eyeshadow. If you just bring the color down and kind of smoke it out, it really completes the look. Next I'm going to take um, this shadow called Nylon and you can use the white shadow in the palette as well, the Maybelline palette, if you don't have this color. Um, and I just like to put it in the inner corners, that way um, your eye really pops and the center really pops. Um, I just like the way that it looks. So I just place that in my inner corner. And then off camera, I did my eyeliner. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see how I do my eyeliner. It's kind of hard to do on video because I'm like really focused. 
um, and it doesn't even look perfect. You don't have to make it look perfect. After you have mascara on, it looks fine. So here I'm just going to take my Smashbox um, contour stick. It comes in a pack of three. It has a highlighter, a bronzer, and a contour. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks and my nose and my forehead. This is also optional, but I really like the way that it looks. Um, I also find that using cream products is a lot easier for me because I had a problem with my contour looking kind of muddy. So the cream really helps. And then I'm just going to buff that out. Next I'm going to take a powder to set the cream contour and this is just uh, my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It smells like chocolate, it smells so good. And yeah, so I'm just going to place that wherever I put the cream contour. And then, of course, don't forget to bring it down your neck. Next is my favorite product of all time. If you don't have it, you need to get it. It is Give Me Sun by MAC, and it's a bronzer, and it's amazing, and I love it, and I use it every single day. Next, I'm going to take this blush by Becca, and it's kind of like a bronzy peach color, and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. And then my favorite part of all time is the highlighter so I'm just gonna place that on the high points of my cheeks my nose and my chin and I love highlighter because my skin's dry and I like that glow um, it also really makes your face look healthy and um, yeah and I love this one by the bomb it's called Mary Luminizer next I'm gonna take my L'Oreal telescopic in black and I'm gonna do some mascara but I skipped through it because my mascara takes so long so if you want to see an in-depth video on how I do my mascara, leave a comment down below also. And lastly, for the lips, I'm going to take MAC Strip Down, um, and I'm just going to line my lips. And then I'm going to take um, Kat Von D's Lolita. Finally got my hands on this. Um, it was sold out everywhere, but I finally had it at my Sephora, and I love the color. It's like a mauve brown-ish color, and I'm going to put that on, and then over top... And over top, I'm going to take Anastasia Pure Hollywood and just dab it in the center. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much. Hey everyone. So today I filmed this makeup look for you. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I just... I'm... I start to doubt myself and I feel like I'm not good enough to film a video or like no one's going to watch it. But, um, I don't know, I love doing makeup and people ask me all the time, like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? So, that's kind of why I do YouTube, or not do YouTube, but why I film, I like to film videos is just, like, to show other people how to do it. Um, I know I watch YouTube, like, all the time. My boyfriend, um, my best friends, like, they all know that I always watch YouTube, like, all the time. Um... And that's kind of like how I learned was YouTube and so I thought like okay then why don't I start filming videos since I learned from YouTube and videos really help me um, so yeah I don't know I just filmed this video it is um, what I've been doing lately it's super easy um, and I like it because it makes my brown eyes kind of stand out a little bit more because it's like bronzy um, so yeah I don't know Whoever wants to watch this can watch this. And yeah, if you want to see how I um, get this makeup look, then just keep watching. That was super cheesy. All right.